Painted Hall at the Old Royal Naval College in Greenwich is one of the largest and most beautiful 18th century dining halls in Europe. Its ceilings and walls are decorated with hundreds of figures from gods and monarchs to scientists and fantastic beasts. Yet it was built for some of the poorest people in the country, for old and injured sailors retired from the British Navy, sailors like John Worley who's depicted on the ceiling. Despite spending 70 years at sea, this didn't dampen his spirits and here in the hospital he was always getting in trouble for breaking the rules, despite being well into his 90s. Worley's mischievous face attracted Sir James Thornhill, who decided to use him as a model for winter in the ceiling of the painted hall. And here is Thornhill at the bottom of the west wall, completed in 1727. He's striking a rather strange pose with his hand behind his back. As the first English painter of note in a world dominated by Italian, French and Dutch artists, Thornhill had to accept a lower and often late payment for the Painted Hall Commission. It is said that that's why he holds his hand behind his back asking for more money. However, his great achievement here in the Painted Hall and elsewhere at places like St Paul's Cathedral led to him becoming the first British painter to be knighted. Almost as soon as the paintings had been completed, they had to be cleaned and refreshed because of mildew and smoke. In fact, the Painted Hall has seen no less than 10 restorations in its lifetime, the most recent being in the 1950s, with 22 restorers leaving their mark on the fabric of the building. Over 15 layers of varnish were removed during that remarkable restoration of the 1950s. It's as a consequence of all that hard work done then that our problems today are perhaps slightly less. But nevertheless, we have to deal with 50 years of accumulated dust and other debris. It will now require the expertise of highly trained conservators, painstakingly cleaning in minute detail the hundreds of square metres to be undertaken over the next six months. The soft disable brushes and light air extraction will be just some of the techniques used by the team. We now understand the reason for the two large vertical cracks extending either side of the west wall. It is almost certainly a consequence of the way the lath and plaster wall was originally constructed 300 years ago. The strength of the wall is not in doubt, rather its current appearance. Detailed small repairs will be made by the team. These will be retouched so as to disguise any evidence of this work. One of the great qualities of the painted hall is the immense air of clear window glazing, allowing the space to be filled with light. However, while such light levels enhance and uplift the spectator's experience of the hall and its paintings, a consequence has been a detrimental impact upon the surface condition, leading to white surface veils disfiguring much of the painting. To remedy this phenomenon will form a significant but ultimately rewarding challenge, revealing the full dynamic colour range of these paintings once again. The Painted Hall restoration is a big project for us. It's going to take a long time, probably several years, to get it all done. It's very important also that we have as much public access as we can during that time. So we're being really innovative, I think, about allowing people to get really close into the work going on, talking to the Conservatives while it's all happening. It'll be great fun. It'll be about two and a half million pounds altogether. We've applied to the Heritage Lottery Fund for a grant, but of course, there's a need to match fund. So any size, shape, of donation will help. £2,000 will get you uh, a restoration of a major panel within the wall, but £75 pays for a square foot to be cleaned and restored. So either way, it all helps. It's wonderful that the Painted Hall is still being used today and enjoyed by people from all over the world and all walks of life and by young people to support their learning. It's a place where everybody can enjoy and engage with the beautiful buildings and their rich history. Please help us preserve this treasure for the future. Mm -hmm.